Welcome everyone to Akron, Ohio and home of the Akron Zips where the fans have been eagerly anticipating this matchup, one that could call back the glory days once seen in the old Rubber Bowl. Today, an interconference battle between a couple of MAC rivals. As we'll see, the Buffalo Bulls taking on the Akron Zips. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Zips will put total leather and will get started. He'll bring it out. It's Henderson. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. So Buffalo's return team will have that offense backed up. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. To the air. It's Agbana. He makes the connection. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. And for DBs out there trying to stop these short slant routes against man coverage, being physical is really key. You want to get your hands on the wide receiver and really try to disrupt that timing between the QB and his target. Third down, and they'll need two on this initial drive of the game. Looking to throw for it. Caught over the middle. It's Snow. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. On the run, it's Henderson. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. They'll keep it on the ground. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. Just a simple power play, power football. Be strong, be big, be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game, make them feel you, keep them off balance. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed over the middle, it's Snow. And he was on his way, gets it all the way to the 38. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. And the Bulls headed quickly to the line. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Aaron is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll run it on the counter. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. To throw, it's Agbana. Working that left side now. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. 
Well, you love to see this on the first drive of the game, right? Third down, go back to the old faithful, the slant pass, something you put in on day one install back in spring practice. Execute it perfectly. Keep this drive alive. The give to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Play number 10 on this series. The give from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, defense is about getting off the football. And when that defensive line can be disruptive and get in the backfield right away and mess up those pullers' actions on those counter plays, it can be really advantageous for the defense. Great job by the defense being hyperactive. 11th play of this opening drive coming up at this one. A third and long. Gets it out quickly. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. I don't know if that's the coverage you want to be throwing wide receiver screens against. Oftentimes, you want the receivers to have some access. You want the DBs to be off a couple yards so you can help set up the blocks and give the receivers somewhere to go with it. It's hard to run that against press coverage, and they only picked up a few yards there. It is good! And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved, but still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. He'll bring it out. It's golden. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Zips offense will get the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. They go to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Back to throw, it's Fenley. He's got his man. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. Lining up to convert third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after him. Makes the catch. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Third down, understanding exactly where the sticks are. You know, you, you've got to stop certain routes so they don't get to certain depths. Quarterback completes and gets another first down. Got to be a little bit more mindful of where those sticks are. And the Zips are on the move. Now they'll try the right side. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll leave it with him. 
That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Well, they're just trying to run the ball, but that time there was absolutely nowhere for the running back to go, and as a result, that's a tackle for loss. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. Oh, what a great play by the defense. Listen, that's why he plays defense. Yes, I get it. I get the jokes. Defensive guys can't catch real well. But the offense, they caught a big-time break right there. That could have been disaster on their side of the field. Could have been a big turnover that led to points. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. They'll line up for a second down play. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. Looking to throw, it's Agbana. Shoots it to the left. He's got it. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. We've got a timeout here as this coach is challenging the call. He wants to give the replay booth the chance to have another look. So he took a chance by using a timeout on the challenge, and it comes back to bite him. We'll see if he needs that timeout later. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for him. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. It's complete along the sidelines. It's a catch in bounds, and it's a first down. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. You got to get him involved. The Bulls come to the line with a new set of downs. Movement here from the tight end. Leaves it with the back. Just feeding his pads to the defense as he gets it to the 36. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They'll stop him at the 31. Let's mark it off at five yards, and that will be a first down. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. Offense threatening, first and 10 from the 31. Use the play fake, now to throw. The sweet feet buy a little time. They get him down after the scramble, but he's able to pick up a few and turn it into a positive play. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away and getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. Softened him up with a run and now to throw. Caught near the sticks. It's snow. 
excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Stop me when you've heard this before. First down, first down, first down. Just continuing to put first downs together. So far, this defense, you just can't find any answers. Down to the 12-yard line, it's first down. He's looking to throw it. He's got it. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Buffalo. A methodical drive that they finish off by tossing it to the tight end. And the tight end, I tell you what, this is a position that's evolved so much, right? And you see him move all over the field. It's kind of like, where is Waldo? you got to find this big fella, especially down in the red zone area. This is the guy they're going to target and make the big play, get the touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Zips take over in Akron, ready to get that offense to work. Looking down the middle. Find space on the right. Good call, good execution as they move the chains, and they have a first down at the 38. They're going to sit back in zone. I'm going to make sure I know exactly what they're doing, find those holes, find those crossing patterns, and take advantage of that zone coverage. You open a drive like that, and you've got some operating room. It's first down from the 38. The RPO, fire complete to the left. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. It's hard to have success on wide receiver screens when you're facing press man coverage because your blockers out front oftentimes can't pick them up and that receiver gets gobbled up as soon as he catches the pass. You saw it on that last play. Now on second down. Looking for a man. It's Finley. And the pass to the sideline will pick up a short game. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism, and he's very difficult to cover one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. The aerial assault continues, and this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Man, linebackers are so fast nowadays, so multiple. They can do so many different things. Not only do they play the run, but if I need you to go get a sack, I can just send you. Send one of those fast linebackers that can rush the quarterback. The Zips will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch is made, but there is laundry on the deck, so we might be having a do-over. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The give to the left. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. They'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Finds his big tight end. Great move there. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Dropping back, it's Fenley. Got his man down the middle. 
just what they would hoped for on third down as they've got a first at the 32. I was starting to think about what they would do if they didn't pick up the first down here, but I guess that's a moot point now. Moot point for sure, and the head coach was probably telling them four down territory, we're going to kick a field goal, whatever the next decision was going to be, and now the OC is like, don't worry about it. New set of downs, nice execution by this offense. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. And that's a really good decision by the quarterback. Don't take the sack, throw the ball away. Now listen, we could debate whether that was intentional grounding or not because he's still in the pocket. I'm not sure that that's not classified as grounding, but they didn't call it. So you know what? Nice throw away, QB. Second down coming up. Power football with the run. Defense there to stop him after a gain of three, but he is inside the 30 to the 29. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. We're through one, and what a back-and-forth battle between these two quarterbacks as we look at the stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. On third down, going up top. Got the quick pass. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Going for six. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Akron! And a really nice job understanding I got to get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for him, and he catches it, gets two feet inbounds in the end zone. Touchdown. On to attempt the try. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought down at the 26. Buffalo has it back, but see what the Bulls' offense can do. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. And the incompletion brings up a second down. Wants to throw. It's Agbara. Fires to the tight end. And the big fella couldn't elude the cornerback who makes a sure tackle. Well, a nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable, really putting this offense in a good position. It's third down from their own 34 as they try to keep the drive moving. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. And the Bulls will have it first and 10. They move the tight end all over. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Going to try to get it himself. Nice pickup there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. 
He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. The Bulls are moving quickly down the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well. They're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on. Second down after the offense recovered its own fumble. To the air, it's Agbana. He's got his man. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Look, as an offense, you're always going to take completions over incompletions and interceptions. So the offense, they're able to make that third down a little bit more manageable, but honestly, not by much. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Yeah, and the defensive lineman, you know, third and long situations, I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. And the Bulls will call on their punt team. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Running it back, it's Goodwin. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Akron has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. This is a game of swings and momentum and a great opportunity here after scoring on the last drive, getting a stop, and now you have the football back. They're playing well right now in all three phases, and they're complementing each other. So now, David, it's up to the offense here. It's up to this quarterback to lead this offense down the field to get a score. Yeah, and to stay aggressive, to, to understand we've had success, we got this going the right way. Now I don't need to change anything. Go back to your go-to plays that's now got you some momentum back in your favor. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. You gotta get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. They're getting this guy lathered up. Turns it on in midfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Defensively, you'll take the slow death. You'll take three, four, five yards a pop. But you can't give up the massive plays. You got to do a better job containing the football, making them run to guys, and get, get them on the ground, for goodness sakes. This guy is fast, I know, but defensively, we got to swarm to the football and get them on the ground. He's got it on the right. And they pick up just a few on that completion. I really like the slot receiver, and I understand he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he just runs really good routes, and he's always under control. He can run option routes. He can run double moves. He does a great job cutting, and he's dangerous after the catch. Nice weapon to have work in the middle of the field. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, 
because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Grabbed in the backfield. It's golden. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. They're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carrier on that one. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Back to throw, it's Fenley. Pass rush, gets there, gets home, gets him down at the 23. Well, quarterback went down behind center pretty quick that time, and it makes you wonder as a play caller, against this pass rush, do you start thinking about maybe rolling your quarterback out and changing the launch point? Quite a bit of work to do on third down from the 23, and this D would love to force a field goal try. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Got his man quickly. And into the end zone, and he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Zip! And this offense right now, they're doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of, and they've done that so far here today. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Coming out with it, it's Scott. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Keeps looking downfield. Fighting off the defender. There's a live football. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. The quarterback tried to make something out of it with his legs, but instead, he turns the football over. And this is what you like about the quarterback. You don't want to handcuff him. You want to give him the freedom and the flexibility to get outside and create. That's where he's brilliant. That's really the added element he brings this offense. But you do need to reel him in with respect to the fundamentals and taking care of the football. It just has to do better moving forward. The Zips take over in Akron, ready to get that offense to work. Snares it outside. It's Norton. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Great timing there in that throw by the QB on the out route. Gets it to his guy just in time. He makes the catch, and his momentum takes him out of bounds. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Norton. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Well, this offense knew coming into this game they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. And the Zips have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide on these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job by this defense. After getting nothing done on first down, second and goal from the six. The run up the middle, looking for the score. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. And this offense trying to be physical inside the five-yard line. I get it, but I tell you what, Palmer, this quarterback has earned some trust for me with the day he's had. Yeah, right now he's thinking, put the game in my hands. I'm playing well, and I'm seeing the defense well. I see what they're doing from a coverage standpoint. Count on me to throw a touchdown here and help out our team. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. And he'll try it from the right. Hash and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. It's good. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. And the fumble on that last drive could have been much worse, David. They, they bailed him out. They held him to a field goal, so that's the good news. Now this offense has to get it going. Forget about the fumble, Jesse. Move on. Be positive. And they're upset with themselves, too. Uh, they're an offense that pride themselves on ball security. Let's see what they do right here. Offense gets set for second down. Back to pass. It's Agbana. The throw to the outside is complete. And he's ruled down right there, but he'll have plenty to move the sticks. Throw him to the spot, and that's exactly what he did to pick up the first down. And that's so many hours of doing this together. You know exactly when he's going to break on that out route. You know what kind of speed he has because you've thrown it so many times. Nice rhythm and timing, and you could tell that was experience between receiver and quarterback. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. That is a tremendous job by the defender on that play because when the ball was thrown, his head was turned around. He was watching the receiver, quickly spun the head, turned his shoulder, located the ball, and then knocked it down. Line getting set on second down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. And this senior quarterback knows he had a chance that time and just put a little too much on it. I love the decision by the quarterback. He found the open man, just don't love the throw. Got to be a little bit more accurate, make it easier on your target. Now facing a third and long. Back to the air one more time. Catch in the middle, it's McMillan. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield, and he moves the sticks. The Bulls will hustle to the line. Caught in the backfield, it's McMillan. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Great play by the cornerback. He was just way too physical at the point of attack. He beat his man trying to block him, and he tackled that receiver on the screen. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
Well, they're trying to go option, but the linebacker shows his open field tackling ability and also his recognition. He expected the quarterback to keep it, went after him, was able to make the tackle for loss. A third and long coming up here. Dropping back, it's Agbana. Setting up the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. A really good job by the defense, understanding third down, the situation in the game. I play a little bit deeper, take away the sticks, react to shorter. I got to go get him on the ground now. Nice job making the tackle, but playing the down and distance first and now forcing a fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Akron has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Little touch pass to the receiver. Crosses the 40. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And these touch passes, it's so hard because there's always action off it, right? If I fake this pass and I can run it up the gut or I can throw it and just spread me out and make me defend so many things, and you can tell they got on the edge quickly, got the big first down. They'll have it at the 49, just across midfield, first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. They're trying to get to it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. Dropping back, it's Fenley. He finds his man. Corralled and brought down by the defense. Well, they execute the end route. And how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. They have work in front of them on third and short from the 42. They'll try to get it through the air. Catch in the middle, it's golden. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. Yeah, when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, receivers got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. They'll throw it on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Yeah, and how about the linebacker? You know, you ask him to do so much on the football field to cover so much ground. You don't always ask him to go man to man, but when you do, the linebacker comes through, swats the ball to the ground. Still on the 35-yard line after that incompletion, here comes second and 10. Feeling some heat. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later, and you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. Looking to throw it again. Holds it in. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Well, this defense is being challenged, and this secondary in particular. And I know a DB made the tackle there, but we're only in the second quarter. And already, this quarterback has over 200 yards passing. The Zips have it with a first and 10. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. And it's caught! Touchdown, Akron! 
it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing in the end because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game day. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They put together an 81-yard drive, and the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. Now, they're backed up here, Jesse. Wonder how aggressive they're willing to be. I think it's going to come down to how much confidence they have in this quarterback and his decision-making because you cannot throw an interception at this part of the field with this little time left. And I think that's conversations you've had with a young fellow on the sidelines. Be like, what are you comfortable with right here that we can run? Maybe stay aggressive, but make sure I don't make that mistake. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Looking downfield, it's Agbana. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. And you see those balls in practice sometimes. They're just off the mark. You don't, you don't know how to control it. You don't know what goes wrong. But sometimes QBs miss, and it's an incompletion. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Still running at the 40. Nothing but green ahead. He's at the 20. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Buffalo. And that's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point is good as they close to within a touchdown, 24-17. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And he finished things off with an 83-yarder for six. So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, you've been calling a magnificent game there so far in Akron. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at InfoCision Stadium. And the Bulls will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Zips take over in Akron, ready to get that offense to work. Complete to start this drive. 
He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. Yeah, and when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. Now on second down and short. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, good call by the defense there. They dialed up blitz into that running play, and the linebacker able to make the stop. Let's see what they do on third down. Looking to throw, it's Finley. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. And he had to go a long way to reel that ball in. He started off way on the right, crossed the entire defense, made the catch on the other side of the field. There's an example of how this offense can really attack every corner of the football field. From the gun to give, looking for room. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Got three on first down at second and seven. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. On second down, looking again to throw. Fires to the tight end. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. After picking up a couple at second and eight. On the ground, it's Simmons. Wrestled down at the 26, it's a gain of four. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Ball's at the 26. It's third and short, and they'd love to pick up the first down and avoid settling for the field goal. Grabs it in the middle. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to... Throws toward the end zone. And that one's going to be over everybody's head and incomplete. And the throw and catch was good, but you got to do it in the field of play, and he couldn't quite keep that foot in bounds. After misfiring, it's second down. Leaves it with the running back. Working his way and keeping those legs moving, picks up five down to the 14. I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. To the air, it's Finley. He's got it on the move. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. Perfect timing to call that pass play. It's third and short down here in the red zone. Everybody in the stadium expecting you to run the football, and if you don't get it, maybe you kick a field goal, maybe you go for it on fourth. You don't have to worry about that now because of the pass completion, it's first and goal. They'll run it on first and goal. 
And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. And the D deny them on second and goal. On the move. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. They believe in their running game on third and goal here. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Zip! Man, did he show some hops for that one. Some serious vertical right there. I tell you what, everybody in front of you, hey, I'll go by air if I need to. Good job getting in the air, getting a touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Fielded in the end zone. It's Henderson. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. They'll go to the ground. Solid gain to get him out close to the 20. Pick up a 5 to the 19. The Bulls want to pick up the tempo. Caught in the backfield, it's Snow. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. On the run, it's Henderson. Oh, it's a fumble! The offense somehow fell on it, and they'll retain possession. You know, these running backs have to keep five points of pressure on the ball, especially against this defense that prides themselves on creating takeaways, and the offense, real lucky they jumped on that one. You want to talk about hearts and throats when that ball was on the ground? The offense recovered its own fumble. Pulls it and fires to the left. He stopped at the 49 after gaining 10. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. And the Bulls have this offense rolling. Wants to throw on first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. After the first down completion, it's second and short. He'll ride his man on the option. He'll toss it. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. They'll run the option. And he keeps it himself. A good decision there, and it gives this offense a first down. 
Man, those, those little chunks keep annoying the crud out of you when you're on defense. It's just putting them in easy situations, chewing up four to six yards at a pop like that. Put you in a bad situation as a defensive coordinator. What do I call? Either way, priority number one, we got to stop the run. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. They'll go back to work after the incompletion. Here's second and 10 from the 36. They'll try to pop the draw. Little too soft in that run defense. He picks up four to the 32. The Bulls racing to the line in the hurry up. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. It's gone. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. And the Bulls trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. This defense has a lot of speed, especially in the secondary, and you saw that speed. That defender got to that receiver so quick, and because of the hit, incomplete pass. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Well, they've gotten it down to the three, but now it's third and goal. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. Man, it has been a long drive offensively. I just feel like you got to pay this off and be aggressive. You're down close. Punch it in for a touchdown here, Pollock. Yeah, and inside the three-yard line, I think I might try to finish this off with a touchdown. I ate up a ton of clock, wore these guys out. Now they'd have to go the length of the field if I missed. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the uprights. He missed it. And after the miss, it's still a 14-point game. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. Akron has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. They'll put the tight end in motion. Looking for space. It's Simmons. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. To the ground to try to move the chains. 
And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. Going up top on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Simmons. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. I want to make sure I know where the playmakers are. And I can't let guys like this guy slip out of the backfield and make big plays against me. Good job being aware that they can throw the ball to the running back, closing space, and getting that fast dude on the ground. Scanning the field, it's Fenley using the quick game. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. The defense trying to get a stop on third down from the 44. They're bringing heat. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And the quarterback just couldn't bring himself to pull the trigger and get rid of the ball, and they knock it free. So let's give the secondary tons of credit, right, Reese? They were doing an outstanding job in the back end in coverage, not allowing any receivers open, and that's why the QB had to keep holding it and keep holding it. That allowed the pass rush to get to him, and that created the turnover. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. The Bulls want to move quickly. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. He's got it on the run. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Well, it's a nice job, too, of the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The give to the left side. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive linemen, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. Got it! Sometimes we ask coaches about halftime adjustments and they go blah, 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 blah. And then sometimes they make some good ones. <laughs> sometimes that blah, 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 blah actually works, but it's working now. But it might be too little too late, but at least you got the party started. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point draws them closer. It's 31-24. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. They're just about ready to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. A first down for the offense. Gonna run it. It's Simmons. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. It's 
And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Gives it to the back on the draw. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19, give him one. And ball security at this point is at a premium for this offense. You're backed up in your own end. You've got the lead, so you want to be able to run the football and stay on the field, bleed the clock. But you know the defense is going to be ripping away at it, right? They're going to be trying to get hats to the football and forcing a fumble. So whoever's got the ball has got to have two hands on it this drive. Unloads to the wideout. Oh, he dropped the football. He had it right in the middle of the field and just ran before he finished the catch. It'll be fourth down. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football maybe, take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Now a fair catch is called for and made just shy of midfield. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. They'll give it to the back. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Fires left. He's got an open man. They get him on the ground at the 37, but give him 15 yards on that chunk play, and they'll move the chains. From inside the 40 at the 37, it's first down. and fires complete to the right. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him, and they've really featured this guy today. Off the play fake on first down. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He'll keep it himself. <laughs> They almost got a first down there. Stopped a yard short. It'll be third down. Yeah, and that's the hard thing about these QBs that can move and run all over the place and give you so many options is that that didn't even look like much, but he chews up so much yardage and gets those little gains that just death by a thousand cuts that continue to happen with this offense. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. And this is the chance for this offense. A first and goal, fourth quarter, trying to tie the game up. They'll try to get it in with the run. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch.
Lining up to add another. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. That last drive covered 52 yards on their way to the score. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Zips take over in Akron, ready to get that offense to work. RPO complete to open the drive. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. They go to the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And you hear about run blitzes. This is exactly what a run blitz is. When you know the ball's coming up the middle, you want to bring those linebackers, get them closer to the line of scrimmage, and fire. Right when the ball snapped, he's coming downhill, doing a good job creating the loss. That linebacker really knew what was going on. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. And this will be picked off. A costly turnover in a tie game. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. This game right now is hanging in the balance. It's tight. It's close. Tied here in the fourth quarter. One play can change everything. And that was a throw that the quarterback wishes he could have. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. He wants to start this drive with a pass. At the 40, there he goes. Open runway ahead. Touchdown, Akron. They've got the lead here in the fourth. How about the day for this young fellow? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls offense can do. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm, maybe before you open it up again, Palmer, or... Do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get lathered up. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. 
Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looking to throw, it's Agbana. Buys a little time with his feet. He'll pull it down and run. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Nice job by the QB, sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. And the Bulls have it with a first and ten. Give to the running back. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. A little screen to the running back. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Lots of good stuff on that play. You slow down the rush, you get a completion, and you move the chains. And most importantly, you're right, you don't force a short-yarded situation that you have to get. Nice job. Invite that rush up the field. Take advantage of the aggressiveness of the defense. Make the catch, make the run, get the first down. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. In search of that tying touchdown, they've moved the chains a couple of times. It's first and ten again. Used the play fake, now to throw. Quarterback floating away from pressure. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. What a nice answer by this defense. You give up the big play, you respond right back. You get the sack, create some momentum for your side. Nice job by this defense staying with it. This drive was rolling, and then it got thrown into reverse. Here's a second and 18. He leaves it with his back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Caught behind the line. It's McMillan. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. I love this defense's ability to fight off blocks and rally to the football. They do such a great job pursuing that wide receiver screen to only allow a minimal gain and no first down. The Bulls will punt this one away. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Pulled and finds his man on the left. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. I'll be honest, man. If I had the weapons these guys had offensively, I'd be staying aggressive, too. It's what got them to this point. It's why they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Take some shots when those opportunities present themselves. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Here's the handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Those are the kind of plays in the second half you have to make. This back has had plenty of success. He's gotten a lot of touches. Now, defensively, we've got to show them things are about to be different. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Back to pass. It's Fenley. He looks that one in nicely. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. A defense, man, it helps you a lot when you could be a linebacker or a 
corner or some safety, anybody, and you see the QB throw the football. Now I can break on the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. If you're the defense, you know that running back is the guy you've now got to stop. He's had a lot of touches in this game. Yes, he's made a lot of plays, but you've got a chance to win here. If you're going to do that, you need to take him away. And the Zips will punt it away on fourth down. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. No return coming here. Fair catch is signaled for and made just shy of the 30. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Lost five on that first play, and now it's second and 15. He's looking to throw. Grabbed behind the line. It's McMillan. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Getting late, pressure building, huge third down coming up on the road for this offense. Looking for a man, it's Agbana, using the back as a receiver on the screen. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. Hey man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time the defense blitzing, offensive line allowed everybody to run up field and they slip in the running back screen and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle. And this offense generates a massive play. Complete downfield. Makes that one pay off and they finally get him down at the 38, it'll be first down. You know, if you're gonna complete some of these deep crossing patterns, the offensive line has gotta be able to hold up because you know that receiver, it's gonna take him time to get where he needs to be. So everybody up front really has to do a nice job of creating a clean pocket for the QB to throw from. Really good execution. Looking deep. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. The offense has got to find something here in the fourth quarter. You can tell, pressing a little bit. They need that big play. They want that big play to try to make this game a better ball game. Took the shot. Unsuccessful. But I wouldn't be surprised if they take some more of those. They try to pop a run on the draw. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. The offense has plenty of time, and this defense trying to dig in and get one more stop and hang on to this lead. Grabbed over the middle. It's Snow. They are on the move. As they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 28. Well, the defense just has not had an answer for this guy working out of the slot so far. Man coverage has been tricky. He's beaten them in zone. You might want to think about bracketing him where you've got a defender on the outside and the inside to see if you can force the quarterback to go somewhere else with the ball. Off play action on first down. He'll take a shot. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. And great job executing. The offense did what they needed to do. You got somewhat of a decision here. Do you want to kick it, tie it up? I think you do with this time frame. You know, one to two minutes left in the fourth quarter. You probably want to do that. But you could push the envelope. You could go for two and try to take the lead. They'll try to tack one more on their score. 
And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Akron has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. Caught over the middle. It's Goodwin. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Looking downfield, it's Finley. Right down the middle. It's caught downfield. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. Timeout on the field, and everybody want to make sure they're organized as we come down the gut of the game. Now the offense has its shot to keep this game from going into overtime. Got it in the middle at Simmons. And you're seeing why this guy is on the field during two-minute situations. He can catch the football and make things happen. Nobody open downfield. You just dump it down to him and let the guy go to work, pick up a huge play, and help this offense get in position to win the game. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's golden. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. That's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. The Zips want to crank the tempo. He's looking to throw on third and short. Fires to the middle. Can't make the connection in. Complete pass, and one second remains. Late in the game with the lead, the defense obviously knows here the offense is going to have to try and throw it. Nice job in the back end there, not just in coverage, but almost picking that football off. That was a game changer. A tie game here late, and they do not want to give up this football. They'll go for it on fourth down. Deep shot for the end zone. Complete the final play of regulation, and now we head to overtime. Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We're headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this, David. Free football. And finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possession starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, to, to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul. We're like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays. Back and forth, who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? Stop is made, but he picks up four yards down to the 21-yard line. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Back to throw. It's Agbana. Looking to scramble. He's going to run it. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Touchdown, Buffalo! And they score first here in overtime. 
This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. I mean, it's been, been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You, you better change the address, do something different. Now to push the lead to seven in overtime. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. He wants to throw. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Man, the defense smells blood in the water. You can tell. They are getting to this quarterback over and over and over. They've already sacked him a couple times. They're just winning up front. They almost got another sack on that last play. After the incompletion, they're facing a second and 10 from the 25. Fires to the middle. It's complete. Touchdown, Zip. They got the score now to see if they go for the win or the tie. They need this extra point to send it to double overtime. And the point after is good. One extra period didn't get it done, and we start the second OT. Looking to pass, it's Finley. Chuck it away just as he was hit. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw right down the middle. Got his man downfield. Touchdown, Akron! Got it in to take the lead here in the second OT. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for him. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. Now in the second overtime, you must go for the two-point conversion. He'll set up to throw. Fires to the wideout. They can't convert, and the lead remains at six, and now they'll have to go on defense. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. Comes out throwing on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. Second and ten after the previous play. To the air. It's Agbana. Finds a tight end. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. Third down play from the gun. Coming after him. 
Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? Does the drama get any thicker? The offense comes to the line on fourth down here in overtime. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Got it past the marker. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now a fresh set of downs. First and goal as they try to answer with a touchdown of their own. Snaps it in the shotgun. Using his legs to buy some time. Touchdown, Bulls! What a great response here in overtime. Man, what a great response by this offense going down the field, scoring the touchdown. Now, I gotta go for two. I know the new overtime rules. They changed this years ago. Jesse, you should work on this in practice. What's your go-to two-point play right here? I'll tell you, after running the ball as well as they did on that last touchdown, I could see them doing it again. I think they've got confidence in the big fellas up front to get it done, find a way into the end zone, and be more physical. Have to go for two, starting in double overtime, and this one would win the game. Trying to power it in. They don't get it. A great stop by the defense, and we will play a third overtime. So here we go, dueling two-point conversions from this point forward. To the air, it's Agbana. Extending the play. They can't get it done on the two, and now they'll rely on the defense. They broke serve. Now a chance to win it with a two-point conversion. Wants to go up top. They can't get it in. Neither team can get the two, and we'll play another overtime. So here we go again, and we'll see just how deep that two-point conversion bag really is. Looking to throw. They are stopped on the two-point try, and now it'll be up to the defense. Now this two-point conversion attempt for the win. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. That's it. That's the ball game. The two-point try gets it done.